What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Um, as you guys all know, Minecraft 1.3.1 has been released, so I will be restarting, starting with too many items as usual. For some of you who are newer to my channel and have just came to my channel in Minecraft 1.1 or 1.2.5, I do restart on a lot of the tutorials, um, simply because they... Um, a lot of times when Minecraft updates, it'll be a different sort of installation and the files will be different and it'll just be um, off from my tutorial that I have for previous versions. So when the Minecraft updates, I like to do the tutorials over again as well as new mods um, just so you guys have the most updated version for the tutorials. So I'll go ahead and select my world here and here we go in my normal world. Now, to open up too many items, you want to hit E. Of course, most of you guys know what too many items is, so a lot of the things I'm going to say, you already know. So you can see this is for um, too many items 1.3.1. We have the sideways blocks, and we have the ender chest. You can give yourself items by right-clicking them. If you right-click an item, it'll give you one. If you left-click, it'll give you a stack. But if you right-click multiple times, it'll give you how many... Um, times you right click it it'll give you uh, that amount of that item so I right click the jukebox 15 times and it gave me 15 jukeboxes now you can also delete the th items simply by picking them up and dragging them up to delete um, I don't know why the too many items just disappear right there that was like a little glitch I'm not too sure why that happened or you can also just toggle delete mode and then you can simply just click on whatever items you want to delete Make sure you turn it off before you uh, start trying to move things around, though, because you'll just delete them. Now you can see we also have a creative mode, and this will bring up creative mode, and it does have the new creative mode in Minecraft 1.3.1. So you have your building blocks, decoration blocks, etc., etc., and your survival inventory, and your search items, all that good stuff. Uh, this does include all of the items, including the new ones from 1.3.1. So you have your book and quill, you have your tripwire, your uh, block of emerald, all that good stuff. Now you can also give yourself unlimited amounts of items. So if I hold shift and say I want unlimited pink wool, now if I hold shift and then select an item, it'll say 111. And pretty much I'll be able to set it down. Let me turn off creative mode. I'll be able to set it down. Actually, no, it's not um, infinite. I take that back. But you can see it does give you a lot more by holding down shift. So that is that. Um, you can see the sun is starting to go down. I can change it to sunrise. So then the sun will be rising over there. And I can change it to noon, which will make the sun in the middle of the sky. I can change it to sunset. And the sun will be setting. And I can change it to midnight. And of course, it will be midnight. I can also toggle on rain or snow, and if it starts snowing or raining while you're playing and you don't want it on, you can just come in here and turn it off. If it'll let me, there it goes. And the rain will stop. Now we also have a difficulty, so we have it on peaceful right now, you can change it to easy, normal, and hard. So you can see there's a zombie up there now that I've changed it from peaceful to hard. We also have saves. So if I give myself a bunch of items, I can go ahead and click on save right there. And then if I go through and delete a lot of the items, and then click on load one, all the items will come back. Now one last feature I want to show you guys is you can turn too many items off um, if you're going to do like some sort of let's play or something and you don't want to use too many items all you have to do is simply hit O and it will toggle too many items off and hit O again and it will bring it back so this is a very simple mod yet very very useful especially if you're someone who just likes to build in minecraft so that is the too many items mod so I now need to clear my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'm going to show you how to install this okay so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as winrar 7 zip or winzip all these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial, and the only thing you're going to need to download is Too Many Items itself. So to download Too Many Items, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page right here. 
I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. It'll have all the information on too many items, how to use um, everything within the mod. If you keep scrolling down, we'll have download for Minecraft 1.3.1 which is the link we want to click on so go ahead and click on this link right here and it'll bring us over to an ad fly it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner after that five seconds is up a yellow button saying skip ad will appear go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod so that is how to download too many items so when you're ready to install it go ahead and come over to start then type in percent at data percent just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner then go ahead and open up your roaming Open your .minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it, do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you will not need your bin open anymore, so you go ahead and close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up too many items, and highlight all of these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. Go ahead and close too many items. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that is okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step, but if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes, and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting, deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you go ahead and close Minecraft jar, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a very, very simple ins installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. I can't talk today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.